Chomley arrived at the High Court at 9 a.m. and he made his way into a courtroom bursting at the seams with an air of anxiety gripping the concerned relatives. There was no putting off the sentencing this time round. I hereby sentence the accused to eight months imprisonment. A right of appeal explained. Nonetheless, it did not go so well with some. Justice Apondi pegged his judgment on issues raised by the final submissions from both the prosecution and defense lawyers. Whereas Mr. Tobiko raised the issue that offenders should be treated equally, Mr. Ojambo raised the issue of healing on both sides. Both issues are very close to my heart. Both lawyers expressed reservations about the judgment. I don't know. It was very difficult for me to guess. And um, I'm, I'm actually happy with this, uh, this sentence. We shall therefore, uh, uh, after consultation with the Attorney General, uh, seek correction in the Court of Appeal and review of that sentence so that the Court of Appeal can consider uh, um, uh, imposing a sentence that is fair and just in all the circumstances of the case. Efforts by journalists to get a comment from the late enjoyer's wife proved futile. But in his sentencing, the judge decided not to make a specific ruling on Chomley's pledge to help the enjoyer family. A civil court would be in a better position to assess the loss and quantum of damages related to the death of the deceased. Chomley, akin to Lord de la Mer, who helped found the colonial rule in Kenya, shot dead Robert Joya on May 10, 2006, at his Soisambo ranch. He has since then been held in custody at the Kamiti Maximum Prison. Hussein Mohammed, citizen.